What does it mean to love myself? Hi, I'm Charizard Morgan. I'm a life coach. And this is my, I just bought this from Amazon. It's just a tapestry. <laughs> it looks like I'm in the forest. Uh, I started the self-love journey right after my divorce. I was really sad. And my mom said um, I had to learn to love myself. I was so desperate. I was willing to listen to her, whatever she had to say. And she told me when I was sad to just feel my feelings in my body. And she also gave me a little quote to say, which was, I give myself permission to love myself. Wow. I thought I always kind of liked myself. I was a little bit embarrassed. I didn't love myself. But I've realized since then, um, it is part of the human condition. There's a quote by by um it's Rumi, I believe. Uh or Khalil, Khalil Gibran. It goes, and God told me to love my enemy, and I obeyed and loved myself. So it's just the nature of the human mind to be judgmental and critical of everything, starting with ourselves. It's the ego. That's just what we do, okay? So we have to learn to love ourselves. And Usually as children, we get love if we're good and if we're obedient. Let me put it that way. We get love if we're obedient. We get validation, approval if we're obedient to the authorities, our parents, our teachers, the religion, the government, you know, the social climate that we're in. And love doesn't come by being obedient to other people. It's an inner journey that we get a lot of that from our parents when they love us and they mirror our goodness. We we start to feel our own goodness. But our parents are flawed, and many parents were actually abusive. And so people have to develop that own muscle. As adults, we have to develop that own muscle of loving ourselves. Now, how do you begin? I used to think, well, I can't really love myself until I'm perfect. I have to be perfect to love myself. Well, you don't. You can love yourself no matter what you've done, because love is like air. It's available everywhere even more than air because air isn't available everywhere love is available everywhere if we tap into it well how do i tap into it well you know it's a muscle that's really weak it's like going to the gym you haven't worked out in a while and you're weak you can't push all the weights loving ourselves is the same way it's something we have to learn we can build up so just start by realizing that you deserve love even if you're imperfect and you just start to imagine, maybe imagine, imagine it in many different ways, like a golden light around you or hugs around you or like a blanket wrap around you. Just make it a visual thing. And don't criticize or judge yourself. That's a huge thing that you can do. And then also allow your feelings to be without judging or repressing them. Just start allowing your feelings to be and be compassionate to yourself. Those are the biggest ways to get started. Have compassion for yourself. Allow yourself, give yourself permission to love yourself. When you notice yourself judging yourself, push all that away. I forgot to say at the beginning of the video that self-love isn't about buying yourself things. That could actually be a form of financial abuse or a way of yourself being indulgent and not wanting to take responsibility for your life. I tend to be very indulgent. <laughs> like, I don't want to work. I don't want to work more than a few hours a week. So I made this life where I don't work more than a few hours a week. And my life is play. And that's just me being super indulgent. Because sometimes I just don't want all that responsibility. <laughs> you know? So it's not like no one has ever arrived. Like, we're all a work in progress. There are some really great tools available on the internet. If you just look at self-love, you can find a lot of different workbooks and books. And I went through a lot of them. I went through a lot of different ones in trying to figure out how am I, how the fuck am I supposed to love myself? Like, how do I even begin? And so, like I said, notice your self-talk and just knock it off. If you're judging yourself, knock it off. If you make a mistake don't be like oh i'm such an idiot just say oh i made a mistake hmm. 
what what did I learn from that that I won't do next time? I'm such a good quick learner. I learn from everything that happens. And at least I tried something. It didn't go the way I wanted, but look, I tried. You can give yourself a pep talk instead of negative talk. You can also realize that you deserve to be loved no matter how imperfect you are and how much you judge yourself, that we all deserve to be loved and then just turn to the source of love and start practicing this muscle of being kind to yourself and compassionate to yourself and allowing your feelings instead of repressing them. See, repressing feelings is not loving at all. It's saying, I hate this part of me and I'm going to push it down. Allow your feelings to be, no matter how painful, allow them to be. They're, they're part of you. They're telling you something or they're releasing some pain. I, I really recommend the Inner Bonding Workbook by Dr. Margaret Paul. It's super good. It's something that I'm doing now. If you want to work through this with someone, she also she has online courses or if you want to work with me privately, I also do coaching. My website is below. As always, subscribe to my videos so you can get all my videos on life, love, relationships, sex, escorting, and so on. And thank you so much for watching.